a charge to keep my hand, a God to glorify, ever dying soul to save, fit it for the sky, to serve this present age, my calling to fulfill. May all my powers engage to do my master's will. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Wherever you are in the world, it's time for another edition of Victory in Sight. When you purchase one of my books or my CDs, you help to spread the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Yahshua, Jesus Christ. This book contains 101 of my inspirational poems and seven steps to health, happiness, and success through biblical principles. We've been examining the seven steps and we've been examining some of the 101 inspirational poems that I've written and that are contained in this book. Today, we're gonna to use the poem and as a subject, we're all in this together. I heard Hillary Clinton say this some years ago when her husband, Bill Clinton, was being inaugurated. She said, we're all in this together. And that's so true, my brothers and sisters. We've got to come to that understanding that we're all in this together. We're all in this together. You can't run and you can't hide. And by certain rules, we all must abide. We're all in this together, you and I. Whether we laugh or whether we cry, it's for certain one day we all must die. We all must fight for what we feel is right. We all have pains and sometimes sleep in fright. We all do fear the things we do not know. We all do cheer when in happiness we glow. We're all in this together, this thing called life. And either we all fight together or continue to live in strife. We're all in this together and you say, when will it end? When life is no more and all cease to be. When the wind stops blowing and there is no disease. When there is no more water and the sun doesn't shine. When the world has ended and there's no such thing as time. Only then will it be ended, this thing we've come to know. The time we finally separate the end of the show. So remember, my dear friends, wherever in life you go, we're all in this together. Till when? Only God knows. Only God knows, my brothers and sisters. When we come to the understanding that we're all in this together, we'll begin to live our lives more focused on lifting our God and on lifting our brothers and sisters in Christ. We have got to understand that we're all in this together. It's so important. What did COVID do? COVID brought us together. Whenever we have challenges and whenever we're in wars, the people of God come together because that's what we are called to do, to come together, to lift one another. This country is so divided. We need leadership that's going to continue to bring us together, to reach across the aisles. We can't do that divided. We've got to understand that we're all in this together. To win, only God knows. Know that, claim that, and until next week, Keep the victory in sight. Keep lifting God and understand we're all in this together. The reason that I have written Victory in Sight is because I believe that once you accept Jesus Christ in your life, you are victorious. And I compare being a Christian today with being an athlete. 
You see, because athletes must condition and train their bodies constantly, day in and day out. They must focus mentally as well as physically. And this is the same thing that Christians must do. But when we do that, truly we see victory in sight. The first poem tonight is entitled, I Shall Give and Follow. I shall give to my Lord my all in all, and then I shall wait to hear his call. If I give all I've got, I can never fail. For when I deal with my father, my ship is sure to sail. My strength is great, I am not weak. And as I walk with the Lord, I walk at my peak. I am built of stone, no evil can break. I shall never be broken. My Lord, I shall never forsake. He has given me hope to bear each hour. He has given me strength, given me power. As I walk in his steps, others shall follow. His powers are strong, his waters not shallow. And never has his love for mankind ever been hollow. To my Lord, my God, I shall give and follow. 